Let's show this validity of one of the properties of matrix arithmetic. This tells us that if we are going to multiply a scalar alpha to a sum of two matrices, it's just equal to the sum of the product of the same scalar to each of the matrices here. So we are going to show this property to be true. But first, let us also remember that this is only true if A plus B is considered to be defined. It's considered to be defined if the um, type of matrix A and B are, are of the same. I'm talking about if A is M by N matrix, B should also be an M by N matrix so that their sum is defined. Okay, let's take note of that before we start with the proof of this. Now, since we were able to establish that this sum should be defined in order for us to continue with this, let us try to assign values to our A and B matrices so that we could apply the op necessary operations later. Now to do that, because we are considering M by N matrix, we're also going to generalize matrix A and matrix B. Say matrix A is this matrix. You have A11, A12, A13, dot dot dot. You will have here A M uh, sorry A1M. Okay? That means it's the uh, mth uh, term here. Uh, sorry, 1n. Let me correct it. It's 1n. Okay? 1n. Now, for the next, you will have here a21, a22, a23, dot, dot, dot. You will have a2n. Okay? Then you will have here a31, a32, a33, dot, 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 to a3n. Now, dot, 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 it is until am1 as this corresponds to the number of row because n earlier corresponds to the number of columns. So you have here dot 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 am2 dot 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 am3 dot 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 you have amn. This is our matrix A. We will be using this together with the representation of matrix B on our proof. Of course, we will let B as the same matrix but using the components B. So you have B11 B12, B13, dot, 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 B1N, B21, B22, B23, dot, 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 B2N, B31, B32, B33, dot, 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 B3N, and you have here dot, 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 BM1, dot, 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 BM2, dot, 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 BM3, dot, 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 BM and N. Now that we have defined A and matrix B, of course, we're also going to let alpha be scalar. So that's a scalar. So that we could actually really connect with what is defined in this property. Now, we are going to show that this right, left-hand side, when we apply the given values or given representations, will result to our right-hand side according to necessary mathematical and algebraic operations. Let's start here with alpha of A plus B. Okay. But of course, uh, before we, we start with this, let us start by uh, giving the representation for A plus B. So this would be automatically applied with the scalar quantity here. So if you're if you're going to add A and B, of course, you're just going to add component-wise. And since we already de de declared earlier that A plus B is defined, so A plus B here is really defined, and it would be in this manner. You have A11 plus B11, multi uh, adding component-wise. Then you will have here A12, B12, A13 plus, uh, sorry, that's plus B13, dot, dot, dot. You have your A. 1n plus b1n. Okay, next you will have a21 plus b21, a22 plus b22, a23 plus b23, dot dot dot, a2n plus b2n. Then a31 plus b31, a32 plus b32, a33 plus b33, 
dot 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 you will also have here a3n plus b3n then you have dot 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 here for the nth um, uh, terms on our nth row you have am1 plus bm1 am2 plus bm2 am3 plus bm3 dot 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 you will have your am n plus b m n so this is the matrix considered to be the sum of a and b okay now we are going to multiply a certain sc scalar alpha to this so you will be having this expression uh, you have the alpha times this entire expression a11 plus b11 a12 plus b12 a13 plus b13 dot 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 a1 n plus b1 n as you can see when you try to prove properties of matrix it would really take a lot of time since we are going to probably consider the general form of matrices not just a 2 by 2 not just 2 by 3 etc etc a21 plus b21 a22 plus b22 a23 plus b23 dot 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 a2n plus b2n Okay, then you will have a31 plus b31, a32 plus b32, a33 plus b33, dot dot dot, a3n plus b3n, dot dot dot, am1 plus bm1, dot dot dot, am2 plus bm2, dot dot dot, am3 plus b m3 dot 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 a m n plus b m n okay that's the part of the matrix when you multiply scalar you multiply it on all components of the matrix so you'll do be having this again alpha times a11 that's one one plus b11 you have your alpha a12 plus b12 alpha a13 plus b13 dot 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 you have your alpha a1n plus b1n next alpha you will have your a21 plus b221 alpha a22 plus b22 alpha a23 plus b23 dot 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 alpha a2n plus b2 n okay so continue alpha a31 plus b31 alpha a32 plus b32 then alpha a33 plus b33 dot 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 alpha a3n plus b3n then you have here again i've pardon for that you have alpha am1 plus bm1 dot 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 alpha am2 plus bm2 dot 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 alpha am3 plus bm3 dot 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 alpha amn plus bmn hey since you are done multiplying the scalar to all the components of your sum now look into each of the components here this is just simply applying or we're just simply going to apply the distributive property here so multiplying alpha to this and that so we'll have the next step okay distributing alpha you have alpha a11 plus alpha b11 okay as you distribute this to all the terms alpha a12 plus alpha b12 alpha a13 plus alpha b13 dot 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 alpha amn plus alpha bmn close it next alpha i uh, sorry this is alpha a21 pardon for that plus alpha b21 alpha b22 plus alpha uh, alpha sorry for this minute alpha so you have alpha b22 alpha 
A23 plus alpha B23. Alpha, A, um, sorry, this one and this one. And pardon for all the corrections here. Alpha, you will have A2N plus alpha B2N. Uh, two, yeah, and next, alpha A31 plus alpha B31. Alpha A32 plus alpha B32. Then, alpha A233 uh, plus uh, uh, alpha B33. And then, alpha A3N plus alpha B3N. Dot, 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 You will have alpha AM1 plus alpha BM1. Alpha AM2 plus alpha BM2. Alpha AM3 plus alpha BM3. Then you have alpha AMN plus alpha b m n okay hopefully the rest of the spaces here is enough for us to really complete this now look into this one here since all of the components here are separate by addition we can separate this into two matrices the first matrix will be the compo the first components or the first terms of each components and the second matrix will be the second uh, com uh, terms of each component so you'll have here this alpha a11 alpha a12 alpha a13 dot 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 you have alpha a1n that's for the first row plus the second terms you will have alpha b11 alpha b12 alpha b13 dot 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 alpha b1n Doing the same thing for the rest, alpha A21, alpha A22, alpha A23, alpha A2N, alpha A31, alpha A32, alpha A33, dot dot dot, alpha A3N, dot dot dot, alpha AM1, alpha AM2, alpha AM3, you have alpha a m n same similar here alpha b21 alpha b22 alpha b23 dot 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 alpha b2 n okay hopefully you can still see the portions that i'm writing here next you have alpha b31 alpha b32 alpha b33 dot 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 alpha b3 n dot 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 alpha b m1 alpha b m2 alpha b m3 dot 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 alpha b m n now that we have separated them all of the terms on both uh, matrices have scalars alpha this here and this here as well so you can simply take that out and since i don't, I don't have much space pardon me if i'm going to do this you have here alpha I'm gonna make this smaller. A11, A12, A13, dot dot dot, A1n. Okay. Hopefully this is still enough. A21, A31, dot dot dot, AM1. So I'm just trying to make use of the remaining space. You have A22, A23, dot dot dot, A2n. A32, A33, A3n, dot dot dot, AM2. A M three, A M N. Plus the second thing as well, you also have alpha, right? This is what happens here. You have B one one, B two one, B three one. Dot dot dot. B M one, B one two, B two two, B three two. Dot dot dot. B M two, B one three, B two three, B three three. Dot dot dot. B M three. And then you have here B1N, B2N, B3N, and BMN. Okay, so now that we are done uh, 
factoring or removing the scalar quantity for all the components of the two matrices, what is this matrix again? And what is this matrix again? You would see that these are the representations of matrix A and B that we tried earlier. Hence, this is just the form of this can be written as this in this way. This first is just alpha in this matrix A plus alpha and this matrix B. Now from here, or in here, we have now shown that from the product of the set scalar alpha to the sum, which is already defined A plus B, according to all of this process that we have made, we're able to come up with the, uh, with the form, which is just equal to the sum of alpha A and alpha B, which is the intended property of this matrix arithmetic given here. So with this, we have shown this given property to be true. This is properties, laws, and theorems. Please subscribe now.